have nine or ten years old. She lives in the house with smelly trashes, and she has to go because her father died with an ever changing medicine and never knows his diseases. She's the only a child. She can't get any high paying jobs. It makes her this way. This is the vicious cycle of poverty. She may never break free from it. From my research in South South Africa, 300 million people didn't get enough health care services, and so 38% of newborns died, and 19.4 million people with HIV without taking medicine. So, why does this happen? I found two causes. One is lack of doctor, two is a lack of money for health care services. To get high surgery, doctors are living in South Sahara Africa. And only few doctors are there and have fought and worked for too many people. In Ghana, there are only six doctors for every hundred thousand people. This is so terrible. So, how to solve this problem? Uh, I was inspired by my home country, Japan's solution. Japan built many medical schools for regions where they have doctors. And this solution is successful to increase doctors in countryside. So I was inspired by it and, and my idea for South South Africa. So my solution is to establish many medical schools in Switzerland or developed countries and by using money from WHO or Bill Gates and Melinda Foundation. These schools invite South South Africans who want to be a doctor and doctors who come from that medical school she promised to go to sub Saharan Africa for a minimum of five years. So they can study for free. Even other students pay $180,000 or more in other medical schools. So also, this if they finish five years as an intern and want to start medical clinics in South Africa, uh, this will help to, helps them to make medical clinics. So these things help people, help doctors stay and stop decrease number of medical supporters. As I said before, lack of money is one of the causes that makes bad healthcare services. According to my research, South Africans get $762 per year. So this salary is too low that people can't even buy market so try to think what money they can use for healthcare services. Well, I think there is no possibility. So I really suggest people who live in the South Sahara Africa to always wash your de wash their hands and dispose trash carefully. This decreases the risk of getting disease by 80%. Also, people help helps doctors who come from that medical school or national health program to build medical schools, medical clinics in South South Africa and get money for healthcare services. And moreover, you who have seen this video have to donate money or things if you can if you want to change this problem positively. These things help people get good healthcare services and and with no need to carry government using for medical treatment channels. So back to the girl that I told in the intro. As a result, she didn't break free from the vicious cycle of the poverty. But if she is my solution, I strongly promise that she will exit poverty and get better at it. So don't just imagine. Take action. We shouldn't be just dreamers, but active members for change. Thank you.